Hello and welcome to part 3 of my SmartRap Core ALU 3D printer build. In this video I assemble all the electronic components, connect them to the ramps board and configure the software. So all the cables you need are provided in the kit. These are for the four stepper motors. There's an extension lead for the fan which calls the hot end and this cable is for the mechanical end stops. The one for the inductive sensor on the x-axis is slightly different. The board attaches to the frame the same way as before and then it's just a case of connecting everything to the board uh, as in the wiring diagram which I'll leave a link for in the description. So each stepper motor connects to the four pins above the drivers, x, y and z and the extruder is the one at the top. They can then add each of the end stops, the blue and black one is the inductive one and then the fan for the hot end. This blue connector allows you to add two heating elements and a heated bed if you wish. Um, screw connectors so nice and easy to um, work with. The green connector for the power supply just plugs in and then you can add the shield for the LCD display. Uh, two ribbon cables just attached to the back of the screen and should end up with something that looks a bit like this. Um, I will be sleeving it all at some stage and tidying it up a bit, but um, I just thought I'd uh, connect it to my computer at this point. There's a few bits of software you need, I'll leave links for each of them in the description. This software you choose what port you're using uh, and then connect and hopefully your printer will connect to it. It allows you to move your X, Y and Z axis in uh, small increments and this is the time to check all your motors are working correctly and that all the end stops are in the correct position. Then I ran Cura and loaded the profile which is provided by smart friends as well. There's also a test print to work with on there and you select the port and press print. At this stage I'm not using any filament, I was just making sure everything was working as it should. Uh, there's still a few things I need to adjust, uh, a few minor adjustments with bed leveling and things and belts but um, so I'll do that in the next video and print something for the first time and I'll let you know what my opinion of this printer is so thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video